Actually, you know that I cannot swim? I can't swim? You're a black person. All my black friends can't swim. <laughs> Is that bad? They don't go in the pool because they will get their weave f***ed up. There was another moment that she was extremely racist as well that they didn't air also. We were at Yolanda's house. I said something and Brandy goes, Oh, you shouldn't even be here. You need to go to Miami with where all the Latinas are. You don't need to be here in Beverly Hills. It was all, every time she could throw like a little racial thing, she would throw it. Yep, the swimming oh, pool. Indoor pool. Well, you don't need sun, so that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect for you. Well, if I was black, I'd have one inside my house too. Apollo does not like, um, very elaborate dishes. But growing up in a white household, he's not used to all this fancy stuff. He likes canned foods, he likes packed meats, he just doesn't care. What, you want black guy? No. I don't like black guy. You got a Huh? The and the OC with the OG. <laughs> when Julia acknowledges me when I was helping Gilda and then says to Gilda, Oh, Gilda, don't treat Michelle like your house. I made a terrible joke. I said something to Gilda about Michelle not being her boat, but it came out wrong. Come on, Mexican, I thought you were all Mexican and strong. Ow! Who wants to prove how tall she is? No, she's from Mexico. But the little chirpy Mexican has to have her way. I'm so great. Mexico, I'm from Mexico. I can kick anybody's ass. I didn't mean it Mexican in a derogatory way or I wouldn't speak Mexican. Right. Do not wear hats in the temple. How hard is it? How many times do you need to be asked? I'm sorry, I didn't say it in Spanish. Take the f***ing hat off. I don't care that you're a Mexican. I've slept with plenty of Mexicans. That in Julio Iglesias' lap. Eddie feels very at home in a Mexican restaurant and it definitely brings out Eddie's inner beaner. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. How many helpers do we have here? It's like oh. servants galore here. Well, we have a pretty wow. big team here. And her name was hot and she says, oh, we have your information. Don't you worry about it. We buy it from you. Is that a joke? And I don't know. They're like this. They're like chinka chinka china men. Oh, everybody asks me uh, oh, what Asian I am because of my eyes. They squinty. So, um, but I have a new hairdo. Uh-huh. I was starting to... Why are you washing your hands in the ice bucket? I don't know how to say not so smart in Japanese. No arigato. Hand in iso. No. You mean when when you became Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be Kung Fu Panda. You know you kind of had those, you know, kind of slightly slanted eyes. So I don't know. Maybe you just got confused. <laughs> There's a few girls in our circle that can really use a good cleaning out because they're so full of poop. They're two shades darker than what they should be. Can ya? You know how you have not found another white woman to sit on that mother because nobody's dumb enough to do that. Put yourself in my shoes. Five African American women just hammer. I bet like every one of those mother on that couch told this world of f***ing apologies for this racism. They already tried to claim that shit long ago, Sheree, as you know. Nobody really bought into it because the social media wasn't there and racism wasn't f***ing all that real. This whole racism thing in this day and age is bullshit. I think that in Atlanta, they'll just be, they don't get to a point. It's called, you, you weave is busted, your tracks, you have this, you have buzz, you're ratchet. They just they just yell and sell to each other. So you never get anywhere. You have to be like, you're ratchet because, and here's my proof. And I was like, what's an aborigine? We had to go Google it. Since Columbus no, came, it's American Indian. Indian. Yeah, say Indian. Indian. Yeah. American Indian. This is not a way that we refer to the native population. Anyone over third grade knows not to say Indian. I was embarrassed that she was looking like an idiot. Careful for your scalp, baby. <laughs> Luann's costume is so disrespectful. I think she's tone deaf when it comes to cultural stereotypes. She's generally tone deaf anyway. For her to use Hitler as a comparison, Hitler would have not killed me. I am the daughter of a Holocaust survivor. It's inappropriate. Even though her family's Jewish? Margaret's not. Honey, I know many people who marry Jews who can't stand Jews. Wait a minute. O-L. All women are Semitic. Oh, my God.
What you got is half breed. This not in Atlanta. Ain't looking for you. Oh, you don't like half breed? Hey, you're a whore. See with all these black people walking around because black on black, it's hard to see. I can't really see who's who in all black. I can only see the beige people like myself. Everybody else, I only see see the nine. Black with a Q. <laughs> you are being shady as <laughs> right now. What are you talking about? You're so fucking powerful and you got a nigger connection. Stupid fucking Mexican. Got it. Got it. Let's see what I get you. Let's see what all gets you. Bring Let's see where it all gets you. That's what's so funny. Fuck fuck which one's Oprah and which one's Gail? This is so Oprah. They look good. It looks perfect. And not here for the with these little nappy heads this year. I'm telling you.